Everything we do is, is in the limelight. People are looking at it. Every cut and every grout joint is going to be there, and it's meant to be there for generations. We deal with terracotta, we deal with granite, we deal with limestone. You know, the mixes have to be perfect, uh, the marble. It turns out to be an art. It's just amazing what you can do with it, you know. Everything's here, the money, the work, the creativity. The benefits in this, in this union are amazing. You do get paid to go to school to learn a skilled trade. This is a career. You know, this isn't $80,000 in debt when you come out of college. You're getting paid while you learn. I'm able to support my family. I, I drive past places every day and tell my little son he's six years old, like, Mommy did that. I'm a bricklayer. That's hard. Like that right there. I love what I do. It's fun. My day goes by so fast. I can do a job and like look at it and still like be like, wow, you know, I did that. There's no end to it. You know, you could become a foreman, a superintendent, one day own your own company. There's always growth in this. Once you've mastered your trade and you are excellent at what you do, your value goes with you wherever you go and nobody can really take that from you. So we're at the District Council Training Center in Addison, Illinois. Today we're talking to the apprentices about the career. Well, we come to school at least twice a month and it's very hands-on. We learn new things every month we come. Stuff that they teach us here is it's out on a job, so they get you prepared for everything. In the classroom, you're just learning the basics, like like what type of block and like cuts you need and the bonds. And then they have mock-ups where you just you're practicing your your craft, you're practicing laying block to the line and whatnot. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, uh, looks good, yeah, guys. It looks real good. The big thing about it is it's an apprenticeship. It's not an internship. So. They are making money right out of the gate. Being an apprentice means that you're taking your trade seriously. It's not easy, it's not a simple thing, it's a craft, it's a career. This, this is probably just as good an option as a, a degree. There's so many people that'll say, you know, you're just lazy if you say school isn't for you. School just is not for some people. Some people are hands-on, more hands-on, you know? Some people don't want to be in a desk. When I started, you know, almost four years ago, I, had, I, was, I was a bartender. I mean, and coming in the union, I came in blind. It's like you're high on the left, you're Shy, you're timid, you really don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe a week or two in, you feel a little bit more confident. You're real sore, but you feel a little bit more confident. Um, we go over all the basics which a lot of those are just basic life skills. You know, there's, there's a reason they're teaching us these things because then it really does become useful to go out in the field and know, you know, what you're doing. This class in general is a confidence builder, a huge confidence builder. Because I laid a ton of block and brick in school and they, they got me ready for it. We're here at the Naval Station Great Lakes, just north of Chicago. It's a big project. We're building a barracks, and it's, yeah, it's awesome. I have people looking out for me. They all want you to learn and be the best at your craft while you're an apprentice, and so you, that you're the best you could possibly be when you reach journeyman level. Uh, we're on the 32nd floor of the uh, Marriott here in downtown San Francisco. And uh, the members of BAC Local 3 are making sure the guests of the Marriott are going to have some of the nicest accommodations in the city with all the work they're doing. I enjoy my work, I enjoy what I do, and I take it very serious. And we're professionals. Every time they ask us what you do, I'm a professional towel setter, I'm a professional finisher. Well, there's a feature here. Give that extra work so you can become that person you want to be. And um, the union helps you with that. 
Okay, so this is the Oak Hill County Hospital that was over 100 years old. You know, I first initially got here, it was completely gutted out. So it looks like a horror story, but it's gonna be a whole new, whole new beautiful thing. Removing, uh, resetting, and replacing some of the terracotta and the ones that are broken, we're binding them back together. It's really beautiful, right? Eh? Uh -huh. Can't wait to see when the scaffold comes down and it's, uh, mm -hmm. we all get to see it again. You know, here, you're going to school, you're getting paid, um, it's free, um, and then they root you on, you go and you make a great living. I have, I think, just over 30 bricklayers and mm -hmm. five apprentices here now. Right. So you've got one mule going on over here on this side? Yes. Uh, got one mule over here. Right. Uh, push the button. Push all the way down and then push the button. Wow, so this 80-pound this block feels like nothing. Exactly. There's a lot of new materials that are coming out over the last five and ten years. Now it shot up on you. So we have a lot of opportunities here for them to come in and continue to learn the new parts of their trade. It's an exciting era for the masonry industry with so much change going on and ways to make our industry more productive and make the work easier for the people who are installing the product. It was great to go through the apprenticeship, you know, and. Um, I like it, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I, I'm still learning every time I come here, like doing these panels and stuff, you know, never done it. But you're learning skills that you can take anywhere with you, no matter where you move to. There's so much growth, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Oh, it's a more of a career, and the door opens for anything. I mean, my goal is to eventually be a safety manager. I'm a woman, I'm a black woman, working out here in the field, and the guys that I work with, they're my brothers. The union, we just, we're like a family. We stick together. It's a great program, it is. A friend of mine took her daughter to kindergarten and she sent me a picture of the floor because there was a rocket ship in the tile. You know, it's just cool to kind of like open people up into, you know, seeing those aspects of your, your everyday that most people aren't looking at. I love what I do. And honestly, if, if I didn't enjoy what I did, there is absolutely no possible way that I could do this for the rest of my life. I, I know that I can do this for the next 30 years and be happy.